Hello, it's Linda here and welcome to our very first <laughs> lunchtime crochet and Minna is here with me too. She's If she's not on my lap, she's never part, far away in the studio <laughs> and if I'm in the studio, she's definitely in the studio with me. So this is our first lunchtime crochet. <laughs> To be honest, it, it has kind of come together <laughs> within 24 hours. So if things are a little bit all over the shop, that's why. But if there's anything you're unsure of, please ask me and I'll answer it and I'll add it onto the website and everything else as well. So why do lunchtime crochet? So we're in that lockdown. Today's day one of lockdown again. I think we're up to lockdown four in Victoria. Um because of COVID-19 um, and I just thought a daily catch up at lunchtime um, would be a beautiful way to bring some um, creative happiness into our lives because <laughs> lockdown can be, um, it can be an anxious time and an uncertain time and an isolated time and I just thought that um, it'd be a nice little catch up, see some different faces, um, crochet with um, with some some new people maybe and also an opportunity to make something like you can we are gonna make a blanket in a week <laughs> well and truly and it's it's definitely doable you will have some homework as well but crochet homework is the best kind of homework <laughs> and you'll love just sitting down and sinking into those stitches and making them so it's giving you something positive um to focus on during lockdown and hopefully lockdown is only for the seven days our schedule at this stage actually goes to the end of next week um which will hopefully be beyond the lockdown um but that will be um nice and enjoyable now these sessions are going to be recorded so if you can't make them for whatever reason um you can watch the recording um and catch up later <laughs> So you, you won't miss out at all. We, it's everyone is welcome and you're welcome to join in and ask questions. And even though we've got a schedule, just grab, if you don't want to make the blanket or the hearts, just grab whatever you're making um, and just come and join us. <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, a fun opportunity to just get together and crochet things. And I'm happy to answer any crochet questions that you have. So that's lots of fun. So, um, 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 if you have questions, if you're watching in the Facebook, on the Homely Lads Facebook page, pop them into the comments. Um, and if you're here in Zoom with me, um, pop them into the chat and we'll answer those. Um, but so I think we've gone through that's how it will work. And I'm going to pop a web link. I have put a heap of information together um, over on the Homely Last blog and I'm going to pop that into the Zoom chat so you've got that link. And also into the Facebook group, into the comments. So, so you've got that link too. So it's heaps of information there um, for you, but if you've got any other questions please ask happy to answer those and so that's got a heap of information um, and up there on that page you can also sign up for the lunchtime crochet emails as well Fun! Um, and you'll get an introductory email um, with with this is all the quick facts like when it's on how to join all the links and then 15 minutes before each lunchtime crochet session you'll get an exciting 50 minutes <laughs> reminder so that's a bit of fun Tasman's just joined us hey Ta ha no Tamsin <laughs> hello and welcome so 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 the other thing we're going to talk about in this session is what you need so I said before we will crochet a blanket in a week how much fun is that? So we're going to do the warm heart blanket. Um, it's definitely a relaxing one to make. And if you've never crocheted before, it's an ideal one to start with as well, because you get to practice some of the basic crochet stitches and get better at those, become more even with your stitches and build that link between your hands and your head on how to do them as well. 
So we'll do the warm heart blanket and then on a couple of days we'll crochet hearts as well. So I'm going to take you through what you need to make most both of those and I'm going to turn the camera around. So you're looking down at my hands because it's easier to show you that way what you'll need. Okie dokie, there we go. So there's links to all of these in the, the that web blog web page link that I just put into the comments or the chat. So we'll start, let's start small. Let's start with the, with the crochet, what we need to crochet the heart. So we'll use the chunky heart crochet kit. And in this box, there is the, there's a hundred gram skein of the Homely Bliss yarn. So this yarn is, um, it's merino wool, it's premium merino wool, and it's Australian grown and processed, fully Australian grown and processed, doesn't go offshore at all. Um, and this will make two hearts. So 100 gram skein will make two hearts and a 300 gram skein of Homely Bliss will make at least six hearts. The 15.75 millimeter crochet hook is the best one to go with this size yarn. You'll also need the scissors and there's a link through to the crochet pattern on the that blog page, the <laughs> link that I've put in the comments. And there's also a printed pattern in this kit. Now with the hearts, you, here's Minna's head. <laughs> you can also um, make them with any size yarn and any size hook. Um, just get a hook that's a similar size to the yarn you've got. Um, and just as a guide, maybe if you're using an eight ply or a DK weight yarn, maybe go for a uh, a five or a 4.5 millimeter hook and if you're using a four ply yarn or a fingering weight yarn go for maybe a four millimeter hook roughly but you can check the recommended hook size or needle size on the um, that's generally on the label of the yarn as well that's a good guide of what size to use and just use something similar if you don't have the exact same one so that's what we're going to use to make the hearts and just before I forget, with the the last kits, there's a 15, you can use the code lockdown and that'll give you 15% off until the end of Sunday. Remember that, that's good. <laughs> okay, the scissors get to come across for what we need to make the warm heart blanket as well, because we need scissors for that one. Also need a tape measure, which I don't have here. No, I don't know where I put it. It was on my table. Anyhow, <laughs> tape measures have a tendency to grow legs. As do stitch markers. You'll need two stitch markers. Use them for knowing where the edge stitches are so you get nice straight edges on your blanket. Takes the thinking out of it. You'll also need some yarn. So six by 300 gram skeins of the Homely Bliss yarn. So this is the exact same yarn as this one. This is just 100 grams and this is 300 grams. So three times this. It's like I said before, it's about a centimeter thick if you're looking for an equivalent yarn. Um, and if you are looking for an equivalent yarn, you'll need at least um, 400 meters of it. Yes, that's right. Okay, you'll also need the 25 millimeter or U size crochet hook. And if you've already got one of our chunky scarf crochet kits or chunky crochet, chunky scarf crochet kit or chunky crochet starter bundle, that's a bit of a tongue twister. It's the exact same one. So you don't need two crochet hooks the same size. So if you've got those, you've already got the crochet hook. <laughs> and it's handy to have the chunky yarn joining kit as well. So, I'm just finding my little sample I had here before. So what these two handy things do is they join the yarn and create a seamless yarn. So that's an example there. Um, and I've done this in two colors just so it's obvious to see how they join. So it's a nice seamless join. So there's no bulky ends um, to, to weave in, which can be a bit messy with chunky yarn or super chunky yarn. Um, so this just creates a really beautiful join. And then you've got one long continuous bit of yarn through 
your blanket, which I just love the thought of that, that it's one continuous piece and then there's just two ends, the start and the end to weave in with your fingers at the end. So there you go. So you know what else I should have done? And I'm going to get up and get this now. Is actually show you what the blanket looks like and what the hearts look like. I'm going to put these to the side. I will just go and grab those. Maybe you can sit on, the, on your bed. Here we go. Here we go. So here are what the hearts look like. <laughs> so this, these... This size skein will do two of these. And I love using these as decorations around the house. I hang them on doorknobs. They're fabulous for Christmas decorations as well. And if you use a smaller yarn and a smaller hook, it gets smaller. If you use a bigger yarn or a bigger hook, it gets bigger. So these are great for adventurous beginners. Um, or, and anybody above that, of course, <laughs> if you have a feeling like you're not feeling real crafty and you're not feeling real certain, don't start with the hearts. Um, start with the warm heart blanket or the warm heart scarf because um, there is a few tricky things. And just by doing, making one of those other projects first, you'll make making this so much easier. So that's the hearts. And then the blanket, I'm going to turn the camera back around and show you that one you won't see much of it looking down <laughs> oh I selected the wrong camera if you've got any questions feel free to pop them into the comments or into the chat or unmute yourself if you're in um, zoom so this is the warm heart blanket so this is the natural color and it is 30 stitches wide and it's got 24 rows and so I will stand up with it so you can see what it's like size compared to me. So I reckon this is a beautiful snuggle on the lounge size. It's roughly about 1.1 meters by 1.1 meters. Um, and yes, yeah, snuggle on the lounge size and a good size for if you're learning or just kind of relaxing into making. And if you wanted to go bigger you can use that um six gain six 300 gram skeins does about roughly um one square meter so work out the square meterage of the blanket you want to make and that will give you the <laughs> number of skeins and if the thought of that is so daunting send me a message or an email and i'll work it out for you <laughs> I totally get that. Ah. So this is wool, 100% Australian grown and processed merino wool. And it's the Homely Bliss is uniquely made. So it doesn't cover you in fluff. It's definitely a non-shedding, super chunky yarn. There's nothing worse than crocheting something and ending up covered in fluff and then having it all over your home. <laughs> so no shedding. It will peel a tiny bit after a lot of use. Um, you can use these again and again and again. This particular one has done a heap of markets with me and it still looks fabulous. <laughs> so it's a yarn um, that that will keep giving and giving, not giving, not giving fluff, <laughs> giving use and looking good. So you can make blankets that you'll use for a lifetime. So ask me your questions. I think I'm running out of things to talk about. <laughs> so what are we going to do in tomorrow's lunchtime crochet? I feel like I'm doing a lot of quick talking. Maybe I need to take a couple of deep breaths and slow down. <sighs> okay, so it's at 12 noon. We'll do this at 12 noon each day. And that's Australian Eastern Standard Time, which at present is um, New South Wales, Victoria, in Queensland and I think Tasmania and if you're somewhere else and you're not sure about the time zone send me a message or an email and I'll let you know what the time zone is tomorrow Saturday 12 noon we're going to do some hearts so come along <laughs> grab a crochet hook and a um grab a kit if you have one or a crochet hook and some yarn and we'll crochet hearts that'll be fun that will be lots and lots of fun so Cool. 
but yeah, so no, no crocheting today, but we'll start crocheting tomorrow. Um, and you can join me for that. And Susie says, hello. Hello, Susie. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> What's a newbie project? Okay, a newbie project was definitely this one, the warm heart blanket, which we're going to crochet over the week. Or if you're not quite feeling ready to um, dive into the warm heart blanket, you can dive into the warm heart scarf. Um, it's similar. It's just five stitches across, not 30. <laughs> and it's 22 rows, not 24. Otherwise, if you're feeling a little bit adventurous and maybe you are, the chunky hearts um, are good for that. If you've got a little, if you have done a little bit of crocheting before or you're feeling a little bit crafty, you can give those a go as a newbie project too. Um, and the kits, the Homely Last kit says 15% off until Sunday with the code lockdown, all oh, one word. <laughs> so there you go. There you, there you go. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy um, doing some crochet, lunchtime crochet. I'm definitely looking forward to it. <laughs> going to be fun. Going to be fun. I think that might even be the highlight of my lockdown days. <laughs> like... Being in lockdown with Minna is pretty enjoyable. <laughs> but she doesn't talk back all that much. Although at times she does try. <laughs> she has little conversations with me. Oh, so there you go. There you go. So I'll just wait a second. So if you've got a last question or anything that you'd like to share, pop that into the chat or into the comments. And I will be recording all these sessions too. Um, so I'll put them up as soon as possible after the session onto that blog page link that's in the comments and in the chat. Um, so you, if you do miss one for whatever reason, you can um, watch it there and still get your bit of creative happiness for the day. So, and then don't forget to share that blog page um, or the Facebook post or the Instagram post with, with your friends and share the crafty um, goodness around. It'll be lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. So it looks like that's all. So I will see you tomorrow at 12 noon um, and we will crochet some hearts. That will be fun. We'll do some crocheting. Um, and like I said at the start, if you're not crocheting hearts or blankets, you're welcome to grab whatever you're making and come along and crochet with us. Um, and I'm happy to answer any crochet questions you have and help you with anything. And the other thing is on Sundays at 4 p.m. we'll also have social crochet. We started that in the first lockdown and have kept it going since then. Um, and it's lots of fun. Um, it's doesn't go through to the Facebook page. So it's just us. It's just a group of lovely crafty ladies that love crocheting and who knows what we talk about <laughs> sometimes we talk about making butter and bread and we google all kinds of things and dandelions and <laughs> everything it's just um fun so you're welcome to join that as well and the link to the zoom link to that i'll put into the um the sunday email so there you go thank you so much for joining me um I'm glad you're here and I will see you tomorrow for more lunchtime crochet. We'll actually crochet something. Um, and if you've got any questions in the meantime, send me an email or an email or pop me a message on Facebook or Instagram or the web chat on the Homely Last website. website. That's probably the best place because it comes straight through to my phone. Um, and yeah, check that link out that's in the comments or the, and the chat for where to find all the information about how it works, what we're doing each day, how to sign up for the emails and what you'll need. I'll talk to you later on. Bye.